Hello, I'm Anita Aspirin, and today I'll be addressing concerns on the behalf of students to authorities like the Supreme Court, which have now become our last ray of hope. So the very first thing I'd like to say is that the NT is formulating a lot of SOPs which aren't working on ground reality. There is a lot of evidence on social media that the exams conducted so far, there is no sanitization, no thermal screening or social distancing. Now I would like to say one thing. NEET and J have 25 lakh aspirants all over India, including parents who will accompany their children to the exam center they will travel hundreds of kilometers they will have to arrange for you know an uh, accommodation like a hotel and it's not like a exam center is present in every district of india and that's not practically possible too right does this sop guarantee that every student out of the 25 lakh is safe because if it doesn't it does violate the right to life because health is a large portion of life and many people can't afford this kind of treatment of COVID, especially looking at the situation now. Our medical infrastructure is crumbling. I do understand that, you know, everybody is getting frustrated by studying so much and I have gone through it too. But when you're kept in a room, how much of a social distancing you do, 10 people, 15 people, 12 people, keep in mind that most of the infections are asymptomatic now. Ames has done a study that says that uh, temperature does not really indicate whether you have COVID or not. So these will go undetected in the thermal screening and we are being exposed to the pathogen or virus at large. And if somebody has a slightly higher temperature, not due to COVID, they are kept in isolation with other people who might have a COVID related fever. Again, a huge risk for them. Think about the mental pressure on a person who has been diagnosed with COVID-19. If you are talking about mental pressure of this exam, this exam determines their future too. How will they in this state write an exam for three hours, travel to the center? It will take a huge toll and stress on the system because it does cause extreme fatigue and it may also hamper the students concentration to study at this time. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Binayak Shah. I am a neat aspirant from West Bengal. Actually, we have just a single exam center in whole of North Bengal region of state West Bengal. We have to travel a distance of 104 kilometers to give net examinations. There has been COVID all around the district of Siliguri, the district of Kochbihar, district of Alipur. So I request our Honorable HRD Minister, our Honorable Director of MTA, to kindly postpone the examination looking at the health of the students, their parents, their family. Please sir, it's our humble request to kindly postpone our examination till the situation normalizes. Thank you very much. और ये परीक्षा जो है मेरे लिए बहुत इम्पोर्टेंस रखती है मैं इस परीक्षा में बैठना चाहती हूँ लेकिन हमारे परिवार के जो सदस्य हैं वो इसके खिलाफ हैं क्योंकि अगर ये परीक्षा तेरा तारीख की होती है तो उसमें हमको नहीं बैठने दिया जाएगा मेरी हाथ जोड़कर बिनती है जब तक स्थिति काबू में नहीं आती है परीक्षा की तिथि आगे बढ़ाई जाए ताकि हम सब उसमें खुशी खुशी बैठ पाए Hello everyone, this one's for the good staff parents association who have filed a petition that meet and J should not be postponed in September and also for the students who don't want the exam to be postponed. They have six questions and if you have a hundred percent surety for all these six questions then please go ahead even we are willing to give the exam. But only if you have hundred percent surety for these six questions. First question. Has the cases reduced at least little till date? If it was reduced at least little with some confidence, we would have written the exam. But it hasn't. Second question. Can you assure safe transportation for lakhs of students and parents who are being exposed on the same day because many students prefer public transport? Third question. Can you assure a safe environment for those students who are suffering from 
wheezing and asthma because they are even more prone to this virus and they will be wearing mask even while traveling and for 3 hours continuously in the center fourth fourth question can you give a 100% surety that sop will be followed and maintained in each and single center inside and outside the center so that there will not be any crowd fifth question when an exam like chlat was being postponed why not need mg our population is even more than them even at in the chlat students parents also are worried about their academic year next question please don't compare with cinemas because for cinemas they are under stamman else surety but we are going to be under the surety of government which the government has not yet given us that surety so please don't compare it with other general activities i would really like to say that those who think that the exam should not be postponed it's a very high risk please don't try to understand thank you na nikalta itna ghutan hoti hai to zara samjhiye 3 घंटे एग्जाम और जाने आने का वो सब में पाँच छः घंटे हम कैसे मार्क्स दे के पहन के रहे अब जरा समझिए इतने बड़े बड़े नेता मंत्री इतने सैनिटाइज रूम में रहकर भी उनको हो सकता है तो हमारा क्यों नहीं हो सकता थोड़ा सा थोड़ा विचार कीजिए और हमारे जान को बचाइए अब इतना ही रिक्वेस्ट है एग्जाम एक बार एग्जाम पोस्टपोन होगा तो भी चलेगा लेकिन जान ही नहीं जानी चाहिए और जो बोल रहे हैं कि हमारे एक साल बर्बाद हो जाएगा बर्बाद होगा तो भी चलेगा जान है तो चाहान है गवर्नमेंट भी यही बोलती है अभी थोड़ा समझिए अब जो बायोलॉजी के स्टूडेंट हैं अब जो नीट देने वाले हैं वो थोड़ा सोचिए अगर आप सब ऐसा करेंगे तो हमारा देश का क्या होगा हम कैसे बचेंगे हम तो मर ही जाएंगे ना प्लीज आई रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज पोस्टपोन थैंक यू I'm a neat aspirant living in a red zone. A few days ago, a family tested positive in our apartment and now the whole floor is sealed off. In a situation like this, how can students be expected to give an exam that they have prepared so hard for? We have seen SOP guideline failing multiple times in state level examinations like KCET and BADUP. If state level examination are unable to be conducted according to the SOP guidelines how can we expect that they will be followed perfectly in national level examinations like NEET JEE I agree that sanitation can be maintained inside the centers but what about the outside students will not come alone and definitely some or the other family members will be there and it will also put their lives at risk transportation is another problem as major transport systems are shut off and wearing gloves and mask while giving the examination will have a huge impact on students having underlying problems like asthma